Hey guys, and welcome back to Kitchen Gadgets Review, where I review kitchen gadgets. It's a little self-explanatory, but we explain anyway. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing uh, what is called the Melon Slicer from the brand Good Quality, which I've used this before, and I'll just say it's debatable. But um, it says cuts 12 uniform slices, suitable for all types of melons. Um, Rust-proof stainless steel blades with um, center with center cut out for easy slice removal. Perfect for slicing all melons and pineapple. Easy grip, non-slip handles, and that is pretty much it. There are no directions or anything as far as like paper directions inside the box. Um, but you do have this on the side, which pretty much just has a picture of the watermelon and that, and then you slice it over it. They're kind of like this is this is self-explanatory, guys. So. I have my watermelon down here and it is already cut in half and that is for a good reason. I have used this before and I don't know if it's just because I just don't have any upper body strength or what, but um, it's just easier to do half the watermelon at a time. You are going to have to stand up and put force when you use like using your body weight to put to push down on it. Um, and I will also go ahead and comment on it saying you can use it on other melons. Um, on the listing that I got it from, it had a picture of it saying you could like core apples and stuff too. And I had an apple laying around, so I decided to try it on an apple. I had to use a hammer to get it through the apple. So I would not suggest it for that. However, as for intended purposes with the watermelon being on front, that's all we're going to judge it on for this video. Um, and then also that little snatter mark I made about it being good quality. I'll get to that after we actually do the test on the watermelon. So here we go. And I'm just going to center that up and go on hand stand up. And this is, oh, I didn't even show you guys the product. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Exactly what it looks like on the front. And the blades are stainless steel. They're not very sharp, so you don't have to worry about, like, if a kiddo grabs onto it, like, them, like, ah, and, like, their hand bleeding and stuff. Like, it's not that, it's not that dramatic. Um, it's not that sharp, and it's very clear. It's mostly just your force that's going to be doing all of the work. There we go. And the biggest thing is, like, don't be afraid to push down on it, because I definitely was. And I heard some cracking the first time I used it, which was, I was like, mm, on the quality. Um, when you do it, it does not push all the way through to the ends. It still leaves them connected. So you do still have to pull these pieces apart like so. And then once you pull them apart, then you get those cute, then you get these slices. So if you were to do the entire watermelon at once, obviously these slices would be double the size. Um, they'd be like this big if you were to do the whole thing. Um, in my opinion, that's a pretty big watermelon slice, but hey, live your life. If you want them that big, there you go. But you have these really nice uniformly cut pieces. Um, but again, like I said, you do have to still break apart. Like for instance, with this one, it only cut up to that much of it. So you do still have to go ahead and finish it off, which I feel like isn't that big of a deal, especially compared to having to cut the entire or slice the entire watermelon. And when I was mentioning quality, I'm not sure if it's just... From this person or what but I will say like with the handles you can just tell that it was cheaply made like you can see there and up there and you can really see if you like look at the back of the handles like there there and it's the same thing on the other side um, and my only concern with that is like I said the first time I used this I was very concerned that I was going to break it I heard it like like cracking and I was like I'm gonna be really pissed off if I break this entire thing um but I did not hear any of that when I did it this time when you just push it straight down in one thorough one one hard blow then I feel like you should be fine I don't know how long this will last me I could see it breaking after like one summer of use but honestly for the cost you, you get what you're paying for so I guess if you wanted to find like a $50 version of one of these then you probably would never need to replace it but because of the cost the quality doesn't bother me as much and um the stainless steel blades are definitely a must so just because watermelon gets super sticky it does what it says it does so but still even with that I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it four stars I'm gonna give it four versus five and mainly because of these like very ugly and apparent like defects in terms of like 
quality it just does not look good with that part of it and with the handles and stuff the handles do do well as far as them being non-slip because my hands were wet from like touching the watermelon when I cut it before the video so the did it did do good on that part and the watermelon pieces do come out very nice neat and uniformed and it is a lot faster obviously than cutting an entire watermelon and my favorite part is this part is this part in the middle because like that's fun. You got a watermelon popsicle. So that is my review of the Melon Slicer. If you are interested in buying it, then the link will be in the description below. If you see any more gadgets that you would like me to review, make sure you just leave them below. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed and like seeing me review kitchen gadgets so that you don't have to waste your money on them, um, then just let me know. And make sure you subscribe. Put your notification bells on because you never know. There may be some kitchen gadget that you always dreamed of that you didn't think existed but it does like an electric potato peeler that i was like what that exists so if you want to see that video it's right here and yes spoiler it does work <laughs> all right bye guys see you next time